very common for patients diagnosed with brain cancer to get chemotherapy as part of their treatment. There are many different kinds of chemotherapy that patients get. The simplest ones are pills that may be taken lifelong. The more complicated ones may involve multiple chemotherapies which are given through IVs or infusions and require people to be in the hospital. I'm going to talk a little bit about the most common chemotherapies that are used for brain tumors. Fortunately, the most common drug that's used for treating brain tumors is a drug called temozolomide or temodar. This is a pill drug. It's often given over a five-day period, say the first five days of the month, and then the patient has the rest of the month where they don't take chemotherapy while the drug is working in their system. While no chemotherapy is without risk or without some side effects, this is a drug that's easier to take than many of the chemotherapies. As I meet patients who are very nervous about starting chemotherapy, I'm comforted to know that I can reassure them that the first drug that we'll frequently use, this temodar or temozolomide, is very well tolerated and frequently patients are able to resume work or other normal activities while they're taking the chemotherapy. It usually doesn't make your hair fall out either, which is good for patients who have a tumor on the head and in the brain. Temozolomide is not the only chemotherapy that's used for brain tumors. There are a number of different chemotherapeutic drugs and even non-chemotherapeutic drugs, which we now call biologic agents. These are therapies that target particular weaknesses in the tumor cells, but work in a little different way than the traditional chemotherapy. And, and there are many of these types of drugs that are used to treat brain tumors as well. One very common one is a, is a drug called Avastin or Bevacizumab. And this is a drug that targets uh, a blood growth uh, within the tumor. And it's a very common drug for patients with brain tumors to get. It's usually given after the temozolomide is given, but there are studies and treatment paradigms where it's given at the time of the diagnosis of the tumor. This is something you'll want to work out with the neuro-oncologist or medical oncologist who's involved in your care to decide what would be the right order of the drugs to best target your particular tumor. Even after we've used temozolomide and Avastin, this bevacizumab, there are a number of other chemotherapeutic drugs that can be used. So even if one of these first two isn't the best drug to target your tumor, there'll be other options that are available.